How are you? Okay, so I'm making a workshop in the FTC and it's coming up on time. Okay, so I'm 40 years, I can be going to my dinner. Okay. All right, so here it is. We've got everything laid out in our carpet. We've just got a couple more adjustments to make. Now the first one is with these bass drum spurs. We've got to uh, put them in place. So what we're gonna do is loosen that, bring it down. Now you wanna make note of the angle because we wanna repeat that on the other side. Now there are some additional uh, adjustments that you can be aware of. First one is this one, and that's going to bring the drum higher and lower to the ground, and you're gonna to wanna to do that uniformly on each side of the drum to keep it even. Just kind of testing with my fingers, and that looks pretty good. The other one you've got is you can actually go with rubber feet, or you can expose this spur, and that gives you a little bit extra grip. And I, I definitely prefer to do that. One of the last pieces we have to deal with are the tom arms. There are two. And there is a left one and a right one. And the way you're gonna identify that is you want the wing nut facing out. So as we put this in, tighten it down, take our other one, tighten it down. And we've got a lot of adjustments that we can make here. We can change the angle of the drum right here. And you're gonna wanna try to even those up with each of the drums. Now that we've got these tom arms in place, it's time to kick our setup into high gear. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put these toms in place. Tom bracket slides onto the tom arm. Twelve inch tom, same thing. You wanna make sure that you keep these toms pretty close. You don't wanna have a big gap. The next thing we're gonna do we're gonna start putting some stuff in place. So next we're gonna put our pedal in place. Now the hoop of the drum is gonna sit on here and this is the hoop clamp and we're gonna tighten that down once we've got it on there. So we're gonna lift the bass drum up, put the hoop in place and tighten down the hoop clamp. We're ready to go there. Now let's quickly pull a couple things close. Got our cymbal stand. Here's our four tom. Um, let's grab our drum throne. Here's our snare drum stand. And our snare drum. Now, as we put the snare drum on, like I said, we've got an adjustment to tighten it into place here. You wanna make sure to snug that close up to your first tom. Make sure that the snare drum is not impeding your ability to get to the bass drum pedal. So you've got a nice clear path to the bass drum pedal. Um, this is looking an awful lot like a drum set. We've got our hi-hat. My friends, we are good to go. Let's take it for a spin and uh, see how close we are to a comfortable setup. So pretty good, but for me, uh, there's a few things that are out of place. One of the first things that I notice is very easy to fix uh, is a cymbal position. I want to get it a little bit closer, and I want to try to position it a little bit more above my second tom. And I can also put some more angle on it. Remember, I've got to be able to use this one cymbal as a crash cymbal and a ride. The next thing I can do is take my floor tom and raise it up. I can take my hi-hat and move it up just a hair. Now to do that, I've got to do two things. I've got to loosen it here and uh, move this telescoping piece up, and then I've got to adjust the uh, position of the clutch. 
So now that I've made some of the adjustments to, to make the drum set a little bit more comfortable for me, before I start playing again, I want to talk about something very important, and that is hearing protection. And this goes for young players, old players alike. You need to protect your hearing because I got news for you. Drums are loud. <laughs> They're really loud. And uh, if you're not careful, you can damage your hearing permanently. So I'd highly recommend using hearing protection. One of the easiest things you can do is just use a set of earplugs. Roll these babies up, put them in. Let's, uh, let's try this drum set out. It sounds great, but the more articulate stuff I try to do on the bass drum, the harder it is for me to play with this bass drum wide open. So one thing that you can do to alter the, the bass drum sound is to actually put a pillow in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to port the bass drum with a generic hole. And a lot of the head companies make a hole like this. And let me grab one so I can show you what I mean. All right, so this is our whole template. Now this is actually gonna be permanently affixed on the drum. And it is actually an adhesive back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel this adhesive back off and stick it on the drum. Now where I like to put it is about eight to nine o'clock on a drum, depending on the size of the drum. The reason is, is because eventually, when you're out playing live gigs, you're gonna be miking this thing. And this is about where, um, sound engineers are going to want to mic this drum. So I'm going to put this right here at 9 o'clock. There we go. Now, you can also put this template on the inside of the head if you like, but uh, it looks pretty great out here. So now comes the moment of truth. We're actually going to puncture this head with this razor blade. So wish me luck. That was fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this whole template as a guide and try to bring this razor blade around the head and you really can't mess this up. And now we're just gonna take the razor blade and clean it up a bit. All right, now we can put our pillow in. So here we go, just gonna stuff her in there. And it's not a problem because that whole template is really helping reinforce the strength of this head. Now you'll be amazed with the difference of the sound. And as far as the way that you orient the pillow in there, it's really a matter of personal preference. Let's listen to the difference. All right, so now that we've got the hole in there, pillow in place, it's time to hear the dramatic difference, sort of a before and after. So if you remember, this is what it sounded like before. And this is what it sounds like now. Much more concise, punchier sound. And that's what I'm going for here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a little bit demonstrating uh, the new articulation that we've got. Okay. 
no va a ser muy grave. Pa, pa, pa. ¿Ok? Ok. So, el nombre es Tim Gratis. Um, pues diga, antes tú vas a ir al tubo que es. ¿Ok? Fine. No, porque no hay una vez. En la boni, el chico que va a ir al tubo, el chico que va a ir al tubo. ¿Ok? Thank you.